All right, part two. Why is Korea better than America? Uh, let me tell you. First of all, nationalized medicine. Uh, I have actually never gone to the doctor in my 15 months of living in Korea. But I have had many friends who have gone, and it's always super duper cheap. Um, you know, we're all on the national medical insurance deal thing here. And, um, yeah, from what I understand, like, you go to the hospital, and it's pretty rare if you ever pay more than, like, 50 bucks. Well, in America, you know, we know that... <laughs> You go to the hospital, and you're just suffering from your, your checkbook. Um, so I think they do do it a lot better here. Also, the medical staff in general, so friendly. They get you in, they get you out. There's no waiting for the doctor, no hassling you around, no paperwork that you got to fill out for like two hours. The medical system here is a machine, and it's a machine that works much better than the American medical system. Um, next thing, dental stuff. Uh, I have gone to the dentist here a couple times. Dentist so much better and cheaper and just, every, you know, it, in America I went to the dentist and they saw four cavities and they charged me $2,000. Freaking ridiculous. I know, I should have gone to a better dentist. I was stupid. But here, I've gone to the dentist and I haven't gotten any cavities, but every checkup it's, you know, $54. Much better than America. Holy cow. Um, next thing, haircuts. Oh, I should make a whole video just about haircuts. Haircuts are so awesome here. Uh, you pay $10, they give you um, a drink from the bar, or like, you know, coffee shop style drink, so some kind of iced tea or latte thing. Uh, they give you a hand massage. Um, then they, of course, give you a haircut they give you a scalp massage, and then they, like, base your arms in this strange pancake batter that feels amazing. Uh, and then they give you, like, a waffle, which I thought was totally random, uh, all for $12. Um, yeah, so it's, it's, the haircut is this two-hour-long food massage haircut treatment that it's, it's just fantastic. Good work, South Korea. You know how to, how to please people. Um, and why these things are also so awesome is in Korea, it is culturally inappropriate to tip. Never tip in any situation. I have been with friends, we've been at the bar, and we're like, oh, here's a dollar uh, as a tip. And the lady says, no, I don't want your tip. Keep your money, sir. That's what she said. Here is your change, sir. And I was like, geez, you know, in America, people would just take everything. Um, and also, no sales tax on anything. So basically, every time you go to a store, you see the price, you pay that price. While in America, you know, you always have to have the sales tax poured on there, so it's like an extra 10% out of everything you do. So much better with Korea. No tips, no tax. And even no tips with delivery service, which is my next point. Delivery service on everything. Every restaurant, well, maybe not every, but so many restaurants have a delivery service. Well, in America, it's pretty much only pizza, which I think is strange. But no, in Korea, McDonald's has a delivery service. KFC has a delivery service. Fried chicken places have delivery services. Um, most uh, little mom and pop shops, you know, you call a number, they'll somehow get it to you. And it's, it's no price difference, you know, because in America, I wouldn't want to do delivery because I'd have to pay tip and they like charge extra. But in Korea, no, you can just stay at home, have the food delivered to you, same price as going to them. Pretty awesome. Um, and also, the cities are so much cleaner in general than America. There's... They, I think they just have these hordes of, of public service workers that just go around, pick up all the trash. I've seen them, like old ladies, you know, just piling them up in these big bags. So the, the cities are just generally cleaner. And it's, it's just a better feeling than in America where there's just kind of, you know, the section of grime and dirt that's covering the sidewalk. Um, and off of this, in America, how could I say this? 
there's there's the the gang culture that happens in a lot of the big cities and you know these are like the kids who uh, inevitably will follow a life of crime unless if their lives change around but um in Korea you don't see that you don't see groups of young teenagers walking around the street looking for trouble you don't see any graffiti yeah that's a big thing no graffiti I haven't seen any in this whole country which is pretty awesome um, so and and also you know definitely in America there's always like the the shady part of town um, you know don't go there bad things can happen Korea not so much maybe there, there are some exceptions I've never been to these places I've been to Itaewon which is what I think is the shadiest place in Korea and uh, yeah no not not that shady so totally awesome um, also with the clean cities point bike lanes oh Daejeon has fantastic bike lanes this is the most bicycle friendly city I have seen in my entire life and I've been to a lot of the major cities of the world uh, Daejeon is not a major city but you, you know the idea. Seoul actually is pretty bicycle friendly because along the river they have these like bicycle highways which are really awesome. Um, and you know bicycle parking is everywhere. They have these like bicycles you can rent for like a dollar an hour but I have my own bike which is pretty cool. Uh, and um, yeah bike lanes. Awesome. Um, another thing in the vast majority of public parks there is this free workout equipment that you can use at your leisure. Just, uh, yeah, they, they, they've got just a lot of workout equipment that's just there out in the open. Get on it, work out on it. Um, and uh, I know that if that happened in America, those things would be broken and defaced in a matter of hours. But in Korea, they've been here for years and no one's messing with them. So a lot of these points, uh, the later points I've made, it's Korea has a culture of respect, a culture of keeping things organized and clean. And in America, it's kind of every man for himself. So this is a much better place to have kind of public unity than America is. And it's because of their one culture. This is not a multicultural society. So uh, anyway. There's more to come. I still have more reasons why Korea is better than America. Next video.